let's put a smile on that face. At some point, At some point, there will always be questions which are asked at some point. I maintain the right. How do I maintain the right? Because I held the position and it's my right fucking say so. At some point, I may have had a special place in my life. I grew up next to a cemetery. That's where the time I had was spent. Cautiously and beautifully and calm cemetery. And then I move. Next thing I know, I'm living next to another cemetery. For anybody that wants to act like they know what the hell's going on. I have to show you that I know how to wear my fucking beret. Are you people? Oh, those of you that got out and never saw a damn thing, never lived next to a cemetery, never walked the grounds and read the stones. There was once in a cemetery, I was on a 12 mile walk and I stopped to look in the cemetery and I saw a guy that was about 40 years old at the time of the revolution. I know I talk about this stuff, but it, most of you will never catch up on what I have to say, so I'm going to say it again. He was born in about 1936 or something like that. And I looked at that tombstone of him and I said, you were there at the time of the revolution in the time between what was and what is. How did you feel at it at the time? Look at that thing and I think, God. Oh. And this was at least 10 years ago. I saw this grave and I looked at it and I said, what did you think at the time? Well, here's an exciting event. Being that I asked, I get the answer. Look at you looking at me. This is the most ridiculous shit that we'd ever seen. I mean. We, oh boy, people did things that the government didn't want to be done and it forced an issue to make us better. And now we've got people doing things that aren't going to make things better. You can call that what you want. But it's a mess. Just look at it. Imagine yourself a couple hundred and fifty or so years from now. Imagine yourself standing over your own grave and saying, what did you think about things at this time? And do you agree?